Well, as the community reflects following that tragic car wreck Sunday morning that killed three ISU students, a story of bravery and hope emerges. Yeah, two young men who came upon the crash scene Sunday morning were able to help the two students injured in the crash get to safety. Nicole Christine sat down with the two young men to hear what led them to their heroic act. I've always just had like a super big heart and if it was like me in that situation, I would hope somebody would do that for me. Big hearts and even bigger decisions. That's what gave the tragic wreck Sunday morning in Riley, Indiana, involving five ISU students, an element of hope. As two local men, Christian Klingerman and Lucas Bishop, individually came upon the scene of the crash and then together sprung into action. Bishop says he initially wasn't sure the scale of the wreck. Part of the main reason I got out of my car was like trying to figure out what it was because I thought that lightning had struck a tree. And I don't think either of us really, I mean, we kind of realized that someone was needing help, but we didn't really know the, the magnitude of like what was happening. Once Bishop and Klingerman did realize there were people trapped in the car, which had caught fire in the wreck, their actions brought Omarion Dixon and John Moore out of the vehicle and to safety. Tragically, the three other students in the car, Christian Eubanks, Caleb Van Hooser, and Jaden Musilli were pronounced dead on scene by first responders. For the uh, families of um, Caleb, Christian, and Jaden, it's just, I can't imagine having to go through that. I would think it's really awesome that people are putting like fundraisers and stuff together for the families. I mean, that, that, that's really awesome and like how the school's coming together. In the days since the wreck, the beginning of the healing process has not been easy. It's never really left my mind, honestly. I mean, even after the night happened, I went home and just broke down. And it's had been like that almost every night since then. But conversations with ISU football head coach Kurt Mallory and other football coaches have helped. It was reassuring a little bit to kind of know like that they're doing a little bit better. Just know that like they're somewhat stable now. He kind of went over like what, just how they're doing and all that. People did exactly like what you, I think you, you would kind of hope them to do. And I mean, everyone really just kind of followed through with it and checked up. And the biggest help in their healing process, knowing that Omarion and John are healing and that one day they'll be able to meet the two young men whose lives they saved. I think that's going to be something that's going to help quite a bit. Just like it's the positive side of it and just being able to see them and talk to them. I just want to sit down and just have like a long conversation with them. And I don't know exactly what will be said then, but I just, I just want to just be able to see them know, like, yeah, that they're okay. Dixon and Moore are continuing to recover at a hospital in Indianapolis. ISU announced a university memorial service for Eubanks, Van Hooser, and Musili is planned for Monday.